Yo, what's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been away. I haven't talked about some sneakers in a minute, and I will tell y'all why later on in the video and everything like that. But I actually got some new sneakers. I was hyped up about them. I'm actually still hyped up about them till this day. And today, we are talking about the Nike Dunk High Beat Root. So, with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, this is a channel where we focus on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. So, if you like any of the above that I just listed for you, I want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. All right, y'all, y'all already know how we do. We haven't done this in a while, but we're going to do it anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. These boys is hard, bro. Now, just looking off at this nigga, it's something, it's just a simple two-tone. Well, I would say it's three tones because they have three different colors on here. But the colorway that this is, is this light wolf gray color and beetroot. But we actually have a little bit of white that's at this mid sole. So just going off of the back, we'll just jump into the outer sole. Now, first thing first, what I like about this is the outer sole. Of course, that means you're gonna be walking on the cement and you won't dirty up the bottom as much as it would if you had like some old school white sole or a gum sole, you actually can see the dirt and everything build up on there and it accumulates over time. But if you actually have a color bottom, you will actually avoid that and you won't have too much dirt that builds up on here. You will still have more of the color that's exposed instead of you actually seeing too much dirt that's on here. Now, for those that don't know, the Dunk is a iconic Nike that started off in the mid 1980s and it got big especially when it started getting popular with like the final four collegiate schools because they got popular with the colorway that they was having connected to these schools. So they've been keeping the legacy that was going on with these sneakers. They had kept the two tones going on. So I think that it's fire that they just continue to keep the story going and keeping it moving forward with the two tones that's on this sneaker. And at the same time, keeping the silhouette perfect. They haven't switched it up. It's still that perfect silhouette and it's a classical sneaker put together. So this is like a well done put together sneaker. Now when we get to this midsole, it is just a plain white midsole. It's nothing too extravagant or anything like that but i do like the color contrast that they have and then it goes to the other last two tone shades which is the beetroot and that wolf gray color now getting to your upper this is what i'm talking about with the wolf gray and the beetroot color you have your two tone colors that's on here you will have that on your you will have your wolf gray this light shade of wolf gray that's on here that's on your toe you will actually have that on the side panel and you will also have it on the back of your heel as well now the only thing that i can say that i just don't like about this that i wish they that they had with that old school vibe i wish they had nike that was written across here and like that collegiate font that would just be fire it would have hit everything off the top but i do understand if you are staying along the classical ways and everything and you stand along that classical story you, of course you're not gonna add too much of anything on the back but i actually wish they would have went old school with it and put that collegiate font that's on the back and said nike in a different type of color or font so if it was like in wolf gray or if it would have been white or something that white font with nike on there i think it would have been actually fire this would have been like a 10 out of 10 for all classical sneakers but it doesn't take me away from the fact that this is a fire piece now for those that want to know on the inside they do have the tongue that is gray and it had that beet root that's like an outline of that and then you will have the font that's actually beet rooted too and then everything else on the tongue is gray so it's something that's just as simple as that now going on the inside of the sneaker you'll also see that on the the inside material that's on here it's all beet root so just going in there is one tone color on the inside it's nothing too crazy as soon as you go on the inside it's just beet root it's as simple as that now as far as the texture like the leather that's on here i think that this is fire i think it would have been trash if they would have added like pebble leather like that pebble leather on here it is perfect the way it is having like this smooth buttery leather that's on here is fire just to continue to stay along the the tradition of the dunk high as itself now again i know they stand along the lines of like staying classical to where they started with their sneakers and everything like that but i don't i don't think i like too much of what the laces are on here like it's cool for what it is i mean like this is a perfect like fall season like a fall season sneaker winter season sneaker it's like the perfect earth tone type of sneak so you can match this with a number of different things now for those that's asking this is a size 12 and a half uh, I was excited to actually get a 12 and a half because I haven't worn a 12 and a half in a while. I'm a size 13, but sometimes when it comes to me wearing dunk highs, 
I will have to get a 12 and a half. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. It fits me perfect instead of me having to get a 13 and then it fits uh, dunk highs. I don't know why. They just fit big on me. So I don't get a 13. I get a 12 and a half. Now these went for retail for 125 and I was able to get them for 125. They did not sell out on me, which I was happy about that as well. This was good for me. It was just an easy pick. It is over retail price, uh, about $20, I would say, yeah. But at the same time, for what it's worth, it's actually a good piece. All right, now, all together, I give this about an 8.5, a solid 8, 8.5. The only thing that really pulled me back is just not having the word Nike on the back. I wish that, I, that, that would have been more fun to me. But at the same time, it still doesn't pull me away from the idea of what this is. It's still a classical, legendary sneaker that started out in the 80s, and it still is standing the test of time in the 2022 to moving forward, it's still standing the test of time. Like it, it get hyped up, then the hype leaves. It get hyped up, then the hype leaves. But at the same time, they are still around to just show that this is a classical piece. It's not going nowhere, no time soon. And I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty hyped up that I got this piece. But again, these are more so just some chill two-tone shoes. And I think that this is a fire piece. Let me know if you think this was a fire piece as well. Drop those comments down below. I want to see those thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And let me know if you think this was a fire selection. Is it worth the 125 that I actually bought these for? Do you think I should have got it for a lesser price? Do you think that this isn't even worth the 125 at all? Do you think that this is an ugly sneaker, a fire sneaker? Do you like dunks? Do you not like dunks? Let me know. Drop those comments down below. And I'm going to get to y'all on my next sneaker joint. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. I appreciate y'all tuning in with me, man. I'm going to catch up with y'all next time on my next sneaker video. I promise that I'm going to be doing more sneaker videos for y'all because that's what y'all be loving as well. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all know how it is. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. All right. Peace.